Don't you feel like owning the title of being a performer and an artist is just such a an important first step that a lot of us skip? I mean, I know I was scared and I kind of shirked it off. And if someone asks what I do to this day, I have that voice in the back of my head. that's like, lead with your day job. You know, don't say actor for some reason. It, it's it's tough. But once you kind of own that, it it creates the path for you in a lot of ways because you're just unstoppable after I just I love that you just said that Robert like it it is so important to me to let the world know what I do um and I, you're right I did experience the same thing especially when I was first starting out when people would say what do you do and mm -hmm. it'd be hard for me to say I'm an actor or I'm a performer because there's always like oh you know are you yeah. you know how are you doing are you waiting tables are you doing yep. this that, and the other thing um and I always wanted to be like, no, I'm not actually. I'm very mm -hmm. much pursuing what I want to do. And I may have a side job or something, but I'm an actor, right? And I'm yeah. working with developmental theater companies or working in downtown theaters or or trying to develop a new show. But this is what I'm doing. I'm developing the shows that you will be consuming in a couple of years yeah. uh, when they reach that level. And I think there's something to be really proud of when you're, especially when you're starting off in this business. It's a tough business. You know this. I know this. How tough this business is. And the last person that needs to be tough are ourselves, to ourselves. Yeah. Um, so I think I, I I think starting like as soon as we start, as soon as we hit the pavement in this in this business and mm -hmm. kind of wearing that title of actor or performer or artist with pride is only going to help propel us forward uh, even quicker. I wonder, is there an act of kindness that you feel like changed the trajectory of your career? It could be a recent one that led to your latest show or just one that sticks out from the long, along the way, someone that changed your life maybe. One specific kind of phrase that stuck out to me, especially when I was starting off like way, way back, is to be the best person uh, in every, to yourself, to your spirit, and to everybody around you in every single room and every situation that you're walking into. Mm. Um, and that meant if you're in a high school choir, you know, you do everything you can to show up and, and be that light in that room because it will be infectious and the work will be even that much better if that happens. And it's always stuck into my head and I always tried to take a version of that and try to infuse that in my work. Mm. And especially with my colleagues, it is very important to me that my colleagues feel seen, that they feel appreciated and that they feel calm and mm. peaceful around me. And I do everything I can to create an environment like that, no matter what room I'm in. Um, and, you know, it's it's made my life better. It's made my work situations better. Yeah. It's the projects that I work with better. And it's made my collaborators kind of become these dream collaborators that I, that I, I could have only, you know, hoped to work for. Mm. Everybody that I've worked with in the past kind of four or five years has been really astonishing to work with. Mm. Um, and I think it starts from you, right? It starts yeah. from being from that, that place of calm and peace and openness and light. Mm especially right before I start a performance or right before I walk into a rehearsal room, I very much give thanks to um, the people who have helped me in my life, uh, specifically my my father and mother, mm. uh, thing that I just do mentally. And I do it almost before every single performance that I start. Um, and I also have a mantra that I tell myself that is very important to me, which is, where am I? I ask the question, where am I here? What time is it? now there are no ordinary moments and i kind of just go mm. from that from that um mantra mm. and it really inspires me to be as present as possible and to be as open as possible to anything that may kind of immediately come my way right because we yeah. are we are kind of inundated with so much information the moment you open a door or the moment uh a curtain goes up and it's usually yeah. things that are completely out of our hands. Mm. And all you can do is, is react calmly and peacefully and with the best intentions. Yes. <laughs> um, and I always feel like anything that will kind of ground me in the present moment is going to be something that is going to make my day better and my experience better going forward. Again, since it's brimming with kindness, I wonder, is there one lesson of kindness that you haven't printed on your heart from that show 
or it could also be a story of an act of kindness if that absolutely happens. i think the 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 whole intention and moral and and you know theme of the story is that the tiniest like the smallest act of kindness can cause a domino effect that can change the world um and the way i took that i mean you saw it in it, everywhere in the show right people yeah. making is people uh, letting people borrow clothes, people buying clothes for others, people just speaking to, to people uh, and being friendly. These were not massive things that were mm -hmm. happening in the show. And look what happened with that show. You know, look at what happened because of this incredible community in Gander that opened their hearts and opened their doors to others. And the way I see that in my everyday life is something as simple as a smile to someone as you're walking down the street. Um, you know, that this, this almost unheard of act of opening a door for others that just does not happen anymore. Who would have thought? <laughs> um, you know, anything, anything can change someone's day and yeah. you will not realize it. And it's almost better that you don't. It's almost better that you lead your day uh, with kindness, knowing that you want, you know, you want to bring light into a situation or into a room or into a sidewalk or wherever you are. And that it may help somebody even in the smallest way. Um, you know, you look at someone and you smile at them on the street and not a creepy smile, just a genuine. You know, <laughs> we are the same. I've said that. I say the same thing. I'm like, not a creepy way. But when I had a mask on, it was hard. My eyes were like bulging out of my face. And it <laughs> totally. But like your day changes when someone smiles at me yeah. and it feels genuine and it feels like it's coming from their heart or someone says hi, you know, mm. it, it almost takes me back. Yeah. And my my energy changes you know your energy changes if you make somebody laugh it is it, it is just impossible if someone is laughing it is impossible for them to experience any kind of pain uh you know or or sadness in their in their bodies and mm -hmm. so imagine what you know the gift of laughter can do